Welcome back to Game Devs Play Games, where we play games on game design, and we are back with more Mighty Number no. 9. <laughs> I like the, the difference of excitement. Well, maybe I didn't sound that excited, but... <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, yeah, but you're excited. Trial. I swear to God, if they bring those two Pong guys back again... I think it's just you versus her now. Runt. Oof. Such vulgarity. <laughs> I like that. So I wonder, though, um, if the, I'm going to have some challenge not having the proper um, weapon. Yep. Yeah, we, we looked it up because we were we were curious to see what, like, the ideal level order would be. You're switching weapons? I don't know why I'm switching weapons. Um, but apparently it goes one, two, five, four, uh, something, something, yeah, something. Yeah, something, something, something. Um, so we were actually supposed to do the pyro level first. At least that's what a lot of people on the like various forums are saying. Um, which, in my opinion, is actually kind of a smart way to design it because I feel like most players are naturally going to play the first level first because they're not going to realize, especially with the interface that they made for this game for the level selection, um, it doesn't seem like you would, oh, whoa, you would, like, have any reason to go out of order. Oh, no, but no, anyone, no, no, no. any veteran Mega no, no, no. Man I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose right now. Mm. Yeah. I could barely do any damage to her. What a douche. You got this, man. I did literally one damage to her. You just gotta get good. Uh, Yeah. We're just gonna skip that. We, we, you've already seen this, people. Oh yeah, we did realize that we could skip dialogues, um, which kind of negates some of our complaints about the beginning of the game. It doesn't make it good, but you're getting oh, no. too close to her. I'm I think. getting way too close. No, it's absolutely. Whoa! What did I just oh, do? Oh, you switched your weapon. Yeah, man, that dash is really the key to being good at this game. Much like Mega Man X, which is even more why no. I'm I'm curious no. if, if the designer of this. <sighs> Worked on that game. Unforgiving. Pew pew pew. Is she saying pew pew pew? Oh no! <sighs> See, like, like you, you, you. I don't think you can actually break out before she breaks you out. Mm. Well, if we well, don't beat this, possible. we'll just try the first level. Yeah, yeah. I, I do want to at least see Explore one other... Explore second one, since I stink. I, and ladies and gentlemen, if you're like, man, this game's hard, it might be. Or it could just be that I'm this bad at it. Well, we were even talking about this off camera. I think it is important to see games from the perspective of people that don't play games a lot. Um, because a lot of games nowadays are designed for, like, you know, active or... Um, I don't want to call them pro gamers because they're not necessarily making money, but like people that have been playing games for like all of their life, you know? Yeah, but I have been playing video games on and off my whole life. Yeah, but you haven't necessarily played games like this. And especially like, I mean, even even that said too, you were, I don't know if you said this on camera or not, but you were saying like you're the kind of person that when you play a game, especially in like a skill based game like this, that you're, you'll play it and fail multiple times before you figure out exactly what you need to be doing or how to do things correctly. Ah, uh, no! No! Yeah, it's it's too bad that you can't, like, shoot those little frost spots I on the ground. I might be able to. I haven't really... Tr oh, I mean, this is a really bad position to be in. Is it possible to... I know there were some, like... The healing items in the start menu that we were talking about. Yeah, but I th that's the thing. Like, I'm not sure. I, and again, like, I don't think about it while I'm like playing to check my start menu. Mm. Yeah, I don't have any right now. Oh well, we're probably gonna lose this fight, guys, because I'm not so good. But it's in our level at least. Yeah, I mean, at least this is the end of of this stage, so we got to see yeah, the entire stage. Yeah, but you'll see the cool power that I'll be able to get from <laughs> this. Oh great! I can just skip that. Right You got this, man. This monitors in the background are weird. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, interesting. It doesn't freeze you if it hits you while it's like mid flight. Those little frost things. Oh, whoa. Oh, those are. They're, they're like automated turrets. They're shooting her. Yeah, now I'm. St I don't. Oh, God.
There you go. But that one. Oh, oh man. God damn. It looks like it wants you to uh, do the the like. Oh, she got her health back. Darn yeah. Well, whatever. That's fine. Well, we checked out this level. Um, I figured it out near the end, but whatever. Yeah, that's all right. Whatever. I, you guys will be like, whatever. Just no one cares. Just no one cares at all. If you guys want to see me fail more, just remember to click vote at the end of this episode. <laughs> and pick the one where it shows my crying face. Um, so, but get on that, Chris. Make sure it's my crying face. Mm -hmm. For my number nine, you can you can do it when it clicks on there. Just pop a video of me crying on loop <laughs> for an hour. Yeah, that's great. Thanks, Doctor Santa. Ooh, I wonder if you can ignite those. Yeah. Those like oil slicks. Oh, hey, these are the guys that we saw. Uh, mm. <laughs> doesn't bode well. I don't like this. I think you just, yeah. Hello. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm really curious to see too how the uh, the level design compares between this level and the last. To see if it if it's like if the level design is easier. Uh, easier, yeah. Um, especially because like having frost like mechan or ice mechanics and having insta-death platforms is such a mean combo. Like, that's something I would have expected to see late game and not early game, you know? Yeah, right. Well, I'm already doing okay at this level. Well, it is only the beginning. That's very fair. <laughs> you know, one uh, thing, too, that a lot of people in the review seem to complain about was the art of the game. Yes. And honestly, I don't think it's so bad. I think the, yeah, the I don't character have that. models are, are pretty fantastic. Well, maybe not fantastic, but they're certainly not bad. I think if I were to complain about anything, was, as far as the art goes, it'd be the environment art is sometimes, yeah, the, like... The environment art, I feel like they, they, they kind of didn't go all the way with it. Yeah, like, especially the uh, the explosion particle effects, they seem so, like, macaroni and cheese. Yeah, right, <laughs> absolutely. Just, just uh, something feels not finished with them. Yeah, Or just but, oversimplified. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's the right way to look at it. But, like, even the... Like, I think the art and the environment, or the environment art... Whoa! That was pretty What? Crazy. That was actually really cool. All right, that was pretty That was pretty awesome. But yeah, I think the environment art in the first level was, like, not so good. But, like, this level, it seems yeah, totally it's okay. Fine, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I feel like people were very quick to be very critical uh, again, about this game. My, my, my feelings on... Oh, 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 God, oh, God. No, oh, no, there either. is nothing I can do. Oh man! There was nothing. I think that what you needed to do was just go just rush leave. all the way yep. to the left. Yep, and I did not. I rushed all the way to the right. We were waiting for that to happen this whole time too, and yeah, when we're it finally like, ah, didn't. Yeah, right. That's good. That's good. <laughs> At least it wasn't insta death. I'm glad that they didn't pe penalize you like that. Yeah, that's fair. So, do you think that people were hypercritical of this game because they are comparing it well, to Mega Man? Well, I think there's a couple of things going on here. Um, I mean, we've talked about how like it had so much hype and people got pissy about the extended deadlines and and what have you. Exactly. I think what happened is after um, Inafune and crew, you know, well, I hate when I do it, um, God, didn't man. deliver the game they wanted. Mm -hmm. l l l after all the hype, right? The day where everyone was over. Um, was over anticipating what th this game I don't think would have ever met um, expectations ever. Yeah, I guess that's totally fair. Is uh, maybe that's the problem. Oh god! Oh god! Yeah, that was a little. Well, hey, we got through it. We got <laughs> through it. But I, I guess that's the problem with making a game that's like the spiritual successor of something that's like. Well, so like people, it's so yeah, it's Mega yeah. Man. And, and people hold that to such like high standards, even though there are really shitty Mega Man games out nowadays. Yeah, oh, oh I mean, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, you you look at what everything after X five or six. I mean, Nathan could talk for days about problems yes. with the X series beyond the first. And he one. should in the comments <laughs> below. Yeah, that would be fun. Well, we'll call we'll call it uh, bitching with Nathan because that's all he's good at doing. You know, we our programmer Covert oftentimes will watch our videos and he'll like and he has the like 
some of the best insight. Yeah, and he doesn't comment. Covers start commenting. This yeah, is dude. this is a wake up call, man. We need you. No, well, I don't want to devalue the the other comments we get. In no, the we have section. great comments, but we, we but, but but he's very good at like bringing up points that even we don't always look at. Oh, absolutely. Well, that's why like some of some of the people in the comments are really good. Like, oh are, yeah, no, we have some are, great one of our regulars. I think his name. Uh, you'll have to forgive me if I'm forgetting, man. But I think his name is Henry Grimes, and he's like, he'll he'll give us like a three paragraph comment, and it's like, oh man, this is. This is a lot to digest in one sitting, but like well, at the a, same it's time, it's like thing, it's it's so inspiring. Well, and it, then I love it because those are the kind of ooh, that's, that's insta not, death. Yeah, that's insta death. But those are the kind of comments that it's like this is this can be a legitimate discussion. Like <laughs> yes, I can I can go back and forth with this guy like you know three or four comments deep, and still have more to talk about. And what's even better is when I see other people. Okay. Mmm, perfect. This is this is a pretty simple level. I'm just stupid. Uh, uh. <laughs> but my dream though is to get other people like talking to each other in the comments. Yeah, yeah. So please, like... guys. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. Like, like you guys have some great input that sometimes we don't cover, or we love how you differ on your opinions with us. It's really awesome to see. And, and one of the best things too is that some some people on the that participate in the comments they'll they they say like. It's kind of their like healthy game design habit because like a lot of a lot of, we hope that we reach a lot of game designers and people that are into game design right because otherwise I I you know maybe we're I hope we're entertaining enough for those of you that don't like game design. Oh yeah, that's but, why I'm uh, here. I am I am here for all you people who want to laugh at someone's misfortune. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh. Although I have to rethink my life. Oh. But, like, one of the things they'll say is that it's their healthy design habits of, like, commenting on the channel helps them, like, it gives them sort of a daily task of, like, stretching their game design muscles. And, uh, that's, I mean, that's half the reason why we wanted to do this show to oh, begin absolutely. with. absolutely. You know, in between projects that Nathan and I were working on, you know, we wanted to make sure that we were still good designers before and, we And playing we video games is thing. so important to remaining such a positive force in design, you know? Because if you stop playing games or you, you think that there's no other games out there worth playing, I mean, <coughs> all of a sudden, you're just not doing what you need to be doing as a designer. You're not looking at all the... Oh, absolutely. ...correct games and all the bad games, well, you know? Especially, too, it's really easy if you're not... If you're a game designer and you're not playing games, it's so easy to forget <laughs> what it's even what it even means to have fun. I, I had this problem in when I was in school for game design um, because I, I wore too many hats and I ended up doing a lot of the, the art roles and I did a lot of the producer roles and I even did a lot of programming, too. Um, and so, you know, I was so busy that... I, I just stopped playing games for yeah. the two years I was in in that school. And that sucks because like it's like it's games. That's what you went to school for. Well, yeah, and, and it was finally when I wasn't a lead on a project that I got to step back and be like, wait, what am I actually doing? Are the games that I'm making actually fun? And it, yeah. I realized that I had kind of failed as a designer because I I stopped thinking about that of what makes games fun. I think it's good that you had that moment. I feel like some people don't have that moment, and then one day <laughs> they just realize, oh wait. Are we having fun? Yeah, or are our we'll players even having this, fun? Yeah. Right, exactly. Like, like, mm -hmm. like, is it is that something? And you know, say what you will about this game. Yeah, it's not Mega Man, but that's the point. This is not Mega Man. I, and I don't think people should necessarily like. I think it's okay to compare it to Mega Man, just as long as you don't let that ruin your experience with the of game. Of the game, yeah, absolutely. I am on that same page, a hundred and ten percent. You're having fun, even if you're having a hard time. You're still having yeah, fun exactly. with it. Exactly. I'm enjoying this because this, this is what these games are. It's supposed to be challenging. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, maybe when uh, challenging for me may not be the same challenging for you. Um, and I don't mean you but as in you, Chris. I just mean you as in the general you. Right. But even me as an observer, like I'm watching it, and I'm genuinely intrigued by a lot of the design. Well, and you can even see that, like, like yes, I'm making lots of mistakes, but at the same time, I'm also learning from those mistakes. Mm -hmm. Now, sometimes I'll slip back into it and that's kind of oh, half of the fun. Well, this is a good point to end the episode. Anyway, yeah, absolutely. Um, we're actually a little over time, but it's all right. We had, about we, had game some, we, had, we had some, that, that's, that's a little deep for us, but I, I like that. A little that. deep thought. I mean, it's not exactly <laughs> about the game, but it definitely pertains to what this game is. Yeah. Um. So, but definitely, guys, um, what's our question of the day? Our last one, um, for now at least. No, we got one more episode. Oh, this is only episode this, four. This is only four. Oh, yeah, I can't count. <laughs> uh, so, question of the day. Um, 
I don't know, should we should we ask about the difficulty? Wow, I cannot get that jump. Yes, that's about the difficulty. Yep. I know what I have to do. I know what I have to do. Yeah. Let's go ahead and ask yeah. about the difficulty. Well, you just have to time that better. Yeah, that's all I have to do. Um, or maybe even we could ask about the, the level structure, right? So yes. the fact that there is no level structure, you can technically choose any level at any point. Um, but obviously some levels are more difficult than others. And, and now that we know that there is a optimal path of like one, of two, one, five, two, four, five. Yeah, right. Um, you know, could they have presented that in a better way? Do you think it's okay for them to make it a free-for-all thing? Yeah, and I'm wondering if any Mega Man fans actually went with the ice stage first, like how we did. Now, granted, technically it's only the second hardest, or the second mm-hmm. easiest stage. Um, and I'm just not great at these kind of games. But did people go there first and then say, hey, let's go to the Pyro Man stage? Now, you know, the Pyro Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, make sure to vote if you want to see us play more Mighty Number no. 9 or any other game. And like, comment, and subscribe. We thrive off of your comments. We thrive off of your guys' viewership. And if you're an indie game developer and you're in the Chicago area, well, if you're an indie game developer, feel free to send us a game and we'll probably play it on the show. And if you're a Chicago local, hit us up. Because yes, we, much we, we, like uh, Eric Bloomquist for our uh, Song of Seven playthrough, we might be interested in having you on the show. We would love to have people like that, especially yeah. if you're out in the area. Or hey, if you're even in for the weekend or something, you guys have a game. We can try our best to hook something up. (laughs) Thank you for watching, everyone, and we will see you in the next episode. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bye, Bye, guys.